Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, You fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. We need to note that not all of the scribes and Pharisees were bad people. Remember, even St. Paul was a Pharisee once, and most were very devout and pious Jews. However, what Jesus means by saying that one has to surpass the righteousness of the Pharisees is to get past strict legalism, that is, to have the law serve human beings rather than the other way around. Sometimes when we fall into scrupulosity for the sake of being scrupulous, great atrocities can occur in the name of upholding the law. And sadly, there are too many examples in history that illustrate this. So as we work towards upholding the values of human life and liberty, let us ask the Holy Spirit to heal the racial divisions and unrest we are experiencing in our lives today and be ever mindful of our collective membership to the universal body of Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and unifying day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at maryknollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.